when you speak about the holiest of the holy book, the Bhagavad Gita, and on its course, sometimes it is not possible even to start thinking of talking about Bhagavad Gita's course when people do not practice the things. I have been talking only on this subject from the last 700 and how much? 50, 60 days. And today's newspaper, when I saw, I was so happy that the Karnataka State Chief Minister Basuraj Bome, he has declared that 900 crores or something government has decided to wave off the electricity bills of the SCST or the BPL card holders. It was a very good venture, but that much money, if government has pumped to make sure that these houses have got solar, then you are called a man born a Gandhasar. Otherwise, there are no Gandhasar in this land. And then yesterday's report I saw in the Karnataka newspapers that government agriculture minister has decided to give farmers solar borewell pumps or something. Oh, that was very free of cost or on subsidy. So government started thinking. So my fight is getting through. I will stop only till the last drop of my people's houses are lit up with the solar. And the whole state saves the rainwater. The day they refuse to save, there is no man born in this state. And no one has got the right to call themselves a husband or father or grandfather. Neither a chief minister. You have to make sure the rainwater, total rainwater is collected. Bhagavad Gita's quotes, Love, tolerance and selflessness should be practiced. And if this is not practiced, then what else is your practice? The Zen master goes to take a bath and his disciple made sure that the water is kept ready for the master to take bath. After finishing the bath, master walks and he hears a sound. He turns back to look and he found his disciple throwing the last drop of water down. The Zen master turns back and tells him, you should have given that water to the plants. And he walked ahead and take sui, not a drop. That's all. And Japan is practiced not a drop. Germany is practiced not a drop. These two were the countries which have become disciples of Indian philosophy, Indian saints and Indian Sanskriti. What is going wrong when I tell you that I will not stop till the last drop of the houses have got the rainwater house, not a drop to be spilled what the nature is given. If you are collected, then you do not have to beg the central government for any water or the foreign governments for any help. These two are very important. Bhagavad Gita is love. And love generates from where? When there is a Gandhasra in the house. When there is a man who is born like a man in the house. I have not seen a single man in the house. All his slaves. Big mouth. Stinking men all around. You have no shame to sit in a house if your house is not lit with solar. You have no right to sit in a house, man, if you have not done your rainwater harvesting. And every drop, if you have collected, then you will understand the 
court of Bhagavad Gita. Otherwise, nobody is a Hindu in this land. We have to throw you into the Ganges rivers. Finish you off. No Hindus are born. If they had understood that, then they understood love. Love came from where? From practicing the Sanskrit. Once you understand that one not a drop to be spilled out, take a sweet. Then you will know not a single drop of sunlight is wasted, not a single drop of rainwater is wasted. Then you can see the love relationship between you and the rainwater, you and the sun is so powerful. You don't need any amount of degrees, any amount of wealth, because this is the huge wealth. Mahatma Gandhi kept on said, telling the earth is proud enough for man's needs but not for his greed. As long as you don't have the greed, God will provide, nature will provide. And for that, the love is very important. If you have understood that not even one drop of the rainwater, one drop of sunlight is wasted, you will know not one drop of the love of your wife is not wasted. Every one part is so precious, so powerful and she reciprocates back in the same way on what you do. When man and woman, husband and wife, father and mother together, make sure that every one drop is so precious and is not spilled out. That is called a family. A family which is together, prays together, grows together, it goes the same. And Bhagavad Gita says, love, tolerance and selfless, selflessness. What is tolerance? When you know love. Tolerance is thy name. When you know love, tolerance follows love. The purity of love. And selflessness means you just give. When love blooms, who will hold on to any property? You will give everything. You don't need anything when the such is the love relationship. Of course, the love of the physical sexual nature is one part. And the love, I do not know how to express. Just you love. When you hear the sound of your people alone, it's enough. When you hear the sound of the wind, you open the windows and allow it to go. When you feel the sunlight is growing, you go open the windows or rush up to take a sun bath. When you hear the birds chirping, you know whether it is crying for food or somebody is attacking or it is singing a beautiful song. What more you want it? But good, this love, tolerance, selflessness should be practiced. And that practice is our Sanskriti. Early morning when you get up, all the whole family gets up together before the sun rises. As you get up, you put the saliva into your eyes so there's no eye infection, eye power increases. You kept one bottle of water next to you, the room temperature water, and you drink that water. You brush your teeth, you use your finger to press your gums, rinse your mouth 18 times, nostril blow 30 times, stomach pump is 200 times, anuloma viloma 3 rounds. And then you clean the house by lighting a lamp and singing a bhajan. You have cleaned up your throat and created a magnetic, beautiful song which melts with the nature and the birds. And then the sun comes, you did a Surya Namaskar, love bloom together, together do it, bump to bump with your family, not alone. Love, tolerance, selflessness, these are the three things, heaven and the earth, man in the center, the three murtis, what Shiva, Shiva talks. And you are the Shiva, you are the God, if you have these three, the richest you are. No disease ever come near you, you stay 180 years. Like a 16-year-old swimming in scuba diving.